So today is going to be day two of microdosing a boba. So last night was fun. What's going on, Felix? How are you, buddy? Iboga is a psychedelic African root bark that many years ago caused a brutal existential crisis and the absolute worst trip of my life. Five years later, I decide to microdose Iboga and hopefully go full circle and be at peace with this plant. The first day of my experiment is already up on YouTube, so check that out. And interestingly, the effects aren't exactly the same day by day. In fact, my experiment goes deeper with each passing day. Just wait for day three, mate. So subscribe if you haven't already. As usual, I do not condone the use of any substance. This video is purely for educational purposes. That being said, the point of microdosing psychedelics is to have a sub-perceptual effect, meaning that it isn't any more intense than a strong cup of coffee. But the emotional slash spiritual effects can be for some people. Or this could just be one giant placebo, and only time will tell as studies continue over time. So I usually like to start off my day with you know, do some work, some editing, that way it just kind of sets up the day, puts me in a bit more of a work mood. And yeah, just moving files around and some, you know, emails, all that kind of stuff. And then yeah, I guess drop a few mates off at the pool, do some push-ups, maybe some stretching. Cause I'm, I feel like I'm getting a bit, a bit skinny here, so I've got to build some muscle, you know. I'll tell you one thing though. It's always better when we're together. Nah, seriously though, taste obviously so much better when you just put it in tea. Man, that was nasty putting it like directly on your tongue. Not good. How good's tea, mate? Anyways, mate, I've got an hour and a half worth of footage. Just the GoPro stuff, not including my camera, my phone. All good, all good. Power of editing, mate, power of editing. Ah, like a challenge. What have we got here? This is always a good reminder that everything that we need is within. You know, something as simple as 10 minutes of deep breathing meditation, how it just really slows down time, you know? And then your thoughts aren't as erratic, just being more grateful for the sun, enjoying the trees more. And, you know, I get it. It's very easy to kind of get swept up in all these external quick fix solutions, whether it's psychedelics or microdosing a boga or whatever new fad comes along our way. The thing about microdosing or vitamins or any sort of drug, at best it can be a supplement. So without doing the everyday stuff, you know, meditation, exercising, journaling, living your purpose, having good friends. Without any of that stuff, the supplements just become another form of escapism. Because I did notice like a bit of an increase in focus, right? And I'm sure there's some subtle effects that the aboga is doing for me. But after doing just a 10 minute meditation session, that was more profound, you know what I mean? Than microdosing any sort of psychedelic. So I just want to remind you that you don't need any of this stuff. I mean, you can help. You got to have your foundations. Otherwise, what's the point? Oh, mate, I'm so grateful. I mean, man, aren't we just lucky to be alive, seriously? I, t I turn into a little bit of a hippie after I meditate, so <laughs> forgive me. But sometimes it's nice, you know? Because my mind's usually just like, tuck, 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 always like focusing on the next thing. 
How can I grow? What goals can I achieve? What should I be doing? Or if I'm wasting my time, I could be doing something more effective, you know? And those thoughts are good sometimes. That's what, thoughts aren't good or bad. It's just when we attach to them, that's when it can become problematic, right? See, look, thoughts are like clouds. They come and they go. They can come in, in storms, lightning bolts sometimes snow and the problem with the human mind is that we identify ourselves with the cloud instead of realizing what we truly are which is the sky which doesn't actually change and meditation is a good practice to help anchor yourself to that constant never changing part of yourself versus attaching ourselves to transient thoughts which not only come and go but they're constantly changing constantly in flux and when you identify with something that is fundamentally transient, then you're in for a whirlwind of a journey, my friend. That's when we fall into chaos. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a skate and go to Woolies, but I'm feeling pretty zen right now. <laughs> hey. What's going on? So I just went on a very, very long skateboarding ride and it was amazing. Being out in nature, feeling the cold wind in my face, it's actually, like it seems sunny, like it is sunny, but it's pretty cold outside. Yeah, I guess the things that I've noticed, it's very subtle and you know, again, that's what microdosing is supposed to be. It's not like this full on trip where you, you know, you take a small dose and you're like, oh, I'm enlightened now. Oh, my depression is cured. Oh, I'm creative or whatever. You know, it's just more of a, it's a supplement. And especially if you're disciplined in your life and you've got a strong foundation, then this can be a very useful boost. Because if you think about it, even if you get a 1% boost, that 1% compounds over time. So yeah, I'm liking this. I think yesterday I got really, really tired after a while. I'm not feeling that anymore. So I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just like low quality sleep. Maybe it was just me being on a train. I do get tired when I'm in vehicles <laughs> for some reason. I know what that's about. But when I get in a train or a plane or I'm in a passenger seat in a car, I'm just like, <sighs> maybe it's like the rumbling. I don't know. Anyways, irrelevant. But uh, yeah, I feel like my well-being, I'm a little bit uh, hyped up on caffeine. And I could be wrong, but I do feel like uh, my general well-being and kind of joy levels is like maybe a couple percent higher than usual. And, you know, I just had a long chat with my fiance. And right now I'm going to take advantage of this microdosing day and might as well do some work. Not that I wouldn't do work if I wasn't microdosing, but it's like I feel like I could probably go for a a bit longer and there's a lot of editing to do. Got to get travel insurance for Turkey next week and maybe after that just do some errands, clean up. But yesterday because I had such a huge feast, I'm still full man, so I still haven't had any breakfast. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. What are you doing Felix? And yeah, it's good. A boga mate. You're, you're all right mate, you're all right. Oh man, I've been editing for like three hours straight and the time has just flown by. Usually when I edit, like I'm pretty good at the at the focusing, but I feel like maybe an hour and a half is when I start getting a bit antsy and I'm like, all right, I need, I need to have a break. Whereas this has been three hours and I can keep going. The only reason I've stopped editing is because I need to, uh, I've got some problems with my computer and the airdrop doesn't work and I need to move some iPhone files. So yeah, just restarting it and I thought, hey, hang on a sec. I haven't really been doing an update. Just been editing the first day of the Aboga experience. 
And yeah, I think it's going pretty well. So now I'm just like for the video, I want to test out like my hand eye coordination. And I think a good way is to maybe play a VR game. This way I can see if I beat my high score on something. I'm thinking either Resident Evil, Mercenaries or Dancing. Which one do you reckon? Obviously I don't know what your answer is going to be in real time, but you know, I'm just going to guess. Maybe I'll do a little bit of column A, column, column B. Do one round of like Gangnam Style or something and see how well my high score goes. If it's just like, if I am go much worse than what I've done before or if I beat it and then I'll do some Resident Evil Mercenaries. So far, I'm liking the focus, just the clarity of vision, and it's hard to say, but I feel like I'm a little bit more introspective, maybe a little bit more at peace. Less stuff going around in my mind. We're ready to rock and load. I reckon I'm gonna start with some dance moves, because it's pretty cold, so I wanna warm up. Whoa, 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 off on Gundam style. I'm pretty highly rated though, I'm like top 100, so not too bad. But it'll show you at the end what my previous score is. So let's do it. And I'm not warmed up too, so if I beat my record or if I even get close, you know the bones working, mate. Let's do it. Whew. So my score was 226,000, which is 87,000 points less than my high score. But to be fair, I think it's the pressure of me recording myself, because like I gotta do really good. So that definitely played into it. But I think I did all right. First try. Usually when I get my highest scores, because like, I'm in a rhythm, you know, and I played the song over and over and over again, so I'm gonna go with my boy, Leon S. Kennedy. Like I said, it's a little bit unfair, because I'm doing my first go, or my high scores is usually when I get the momentum building. But if I beat my high score straight away, then you know it's significant. So what we're gonna do is find the, uh, the extra time. It's all about getting those combos. Yeah, get it there. However, if I die, then that's very lovely. Alright, we've got a 10 combo, 11 combo. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're on a good side. Oh shit, the chainsaws are coming. Oh, that's my combo. It's the chainsaw guys take so much ammo. Yeah, the boy said, Tu pida y a tu madre. Ya, pobre, man, ven. Oh shit! Got two minutes. Yeah, shit! Twenty seconds ago. Come on, come on. Okay. How did I do? Results. Hey! High score, baby, first try. Gracias, Iboga. Nice. Where am I? Oh, hey. What's going on? I bet my high score, first run. Which you know, I'm good. So that's significant. That is significant. It's much more calm and controlled, didn't panic, except for maybe one split second when one came behind me. So let me give the dancing one more shot. Dancing requires a lot more physical activity. This is just a bunch of push, 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 push. Beep, beep, beep. Push. This is good news. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Heavens yes. All right, so I'll do a side trance one because I know you guys love that shit, so. Mandala. See that? Ranked 73 in the world for expert on this song. So this is going to be a tough one to beat. Oh, Thursday. Woo! Oh, man. Okay, yeah, so I've got over 100,000 less points. So maybe for dancing, it doesn't necessarily improve your skills, and I'm not a good dancer at all. But Resident Evil, 
I think it helped. <sighs> you can't win them all, mate. I hardly play VR anyway. Dude, even just now, just that, what? Well, we've been recording for like just under 25 minutes. And mate, I am telling you that my eyes are already like <sighs> a bit sore. So that's usually my maximum time that I can play before getting over it. Yeah, but you know. It was just a little fun test. I don't really play video games much these days, except for like with friends, you know, like got into civilization, which is a bit of fun, but that's a lot more strategy. Games that are just like too stimulating, like You know, and I don't know what it is, man, but maybe I'm getting old, but it's hard for me to play those type of game for any significant period of time. But that was exhilarating. That was nice, actually. Like I said, I think it, it's a little bit unfair for me to do the dancing game. I think I probably I should do like the same song three times in a row. And then if I could beat my high score by the third time, then I feel like that would be a bit more significant. So today's been good. I didn't get the tiredness. The focus and clarity was a lot more obvious. Not super, super dramatic and obvious, but Enough that I could personally see it within myself and even just the editing. Like, you know, I was editing for like three hours straight and I could have easily kept going for another two hours because editing takes a very, 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 very long time, at least the way that I do it. Because I like to polish it up, polish it up, even go back the next day, have watch it again with fresh eyes and do it again. Oh, son, I think for work, this is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted from microdosing Iboga, which is as a sort of like a super nootropic, you know what I mean? They just kind of enhance my abilities. Not all, like for example, my physical ability, as you can tell, I'm like puffed out. Doesn't take away my physical fitness, but it also didn't give me any extra physical capabilities. But mentally, good stuff. So anyways, hope you enjoy the second day. But just for the future, I'd like to know, what do you guys prefer? Do you like the kind of day by day experiment vloggy types, or do you want it all in just one week, super produced, hyper cut, that being said, I will be releasing the long uncut versions on Patreon. This time I'm actually putting a lot more into it. Like this video already is 50 minutes. I think for the patrons, I'm going to give a long, deeper insight into my life and what I went through and the insights and stuff like that. And I think you guys will really, really enjoy that. So patrons, if you're already on there, check it out. Consider becoming a monthly supporter on Patreon. Creators asking for Patreon support is white noise to you at this point, and I get that. But you have to understand that the type of content that I make, the ad revenue is actually really bad. You know, and that's not even considering the problems I have to go through just dealing with YouTube in terms of censorship, the videos getting buried in the algorithm, and you know, gotten a lot of strikes, which is fucking, gives me a heart attack. Thank God that that hasn't happened in a while, and I hope that it doesn't, but YouTube kind of gets a bit tougher on these things, so. So I'm just gonna put my head down, edit, have some tea, Yesenia should come home. You guys haven't even seen Yesenia since I've been doing these videos. <laughs> She'll get home soon. We'll have a nice dinner and finally watch Top Gun because I've never seen it in my life and I heard the new ones like absolutely amazing. Spend some quality time with the love of my life. What are you doing? Hi, baby. Oh, this is why you're the best. This is going to be the first and last time I'm talking about this ever online. On the next episode of the Your Mate Tom Iboga Experiment, things get a lot more real. I have really intense dreams and felt the need to address something that I've been avoiding for a while. So definitely the most introspective day of this experiment so far.